Hello and welcome to jdravingschool.com. My name is Jay Sri Somaya and my driving school's name is Jay's A-1 Driving School. I have been running my school in Newcastle from last 25 years. Um, this video is uh, on special request. Someone wants to learn about the clutch pedal, brake pedal and accelerator pedal, how to use them uh, in driving as well as while doing reverse parking. So I'm going to explain to you uh, theory first and then uh, practical also. Thank you. Please like my videos, share them, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So whenever I put the new videos on, uh, you will be the first person to be notified. Thank you. Okay, so I have drawn clutch pedal, brake pedal and accelerator pedal. This is for manual car. So when you come to stop, you will be pressing the clutch pedal fully in and the brake pedal fully in. Then when you want to roll, you will first bring your foot on the clutch pedal slowly, slowly up to the friction point. What is the friction point? Where two clutch plates get together. And when you come to the friction point, and if you are coming slowly, slowly up the clutch, um, then what happens when the two clutch plate gets uh, together, touches each other, then you will feel one kind of vibration under your foot, under the clutch foot. Uh, and you hold your clutch plate there at that position, if you come up a little bit more than that, your car will stall. And if you go, if you feel the clutch uh, friction point, and if you go down a little bit, and then if you take the foot off the brake, your car will roll back. So that's why when you bring your foot on the clutch a little bit slowly, slowly up, when you feel the friction point, that is when the two clutch plates get together, that is called friction point. When you feel slight vibration under your foot, that is your friction point, you hold your clutch there with your left foot, then slowly take the foot off the brake and then go on the accelerator pedal and start slowly, slowly accelerating. When you start rolling forward, for a couple, few meters, if you roll forward, when you feel, okay, my if I let go my clutch now, then my car won't stall. Then start accelerating down more, more, more and start taking your foot off the clutch slowly. So you can't do suddenly like that. Always be gently come up and start pressing the extra pedal and roll forward about four or five meters, then completely let go the clutch. So your car will, pick up the speed in meantime in four or five meters and then it will keep on rolling. Then when you want to, now your clutch is off and extra pedal is down, you are picking up the speed. When you are about 20 kilometers per hour, you reach that speed, then you want to change the gear to second gear because you started off in first gear. Then what you do is you start pressing the clutch in gradually and when you start pressing the clutch in, you start easing off your extra pedal. Fully clutching and then change your gear with your left hand to second gear and then start slowly, slowly coming on the clutch and start slowly, slowly putting foot on the extra pedal and then keep on going in second gear. When you first, uh, when your car picks up the speed up to 40 kilometers, about that speed, then you start, uh, you will be changed because the car engine will make some certain noise that will try to say that, okay, change your gear to upper gear because I have picked up some certain speed. So then you again start coming off the extra pedal and start pushing the clutch pedal in. And once your clutch is fully in, change your with your left hand to gear three. 
then start slowly, slowly accelerating and slowly, slowly coming up on the clutch and then completely off the clutch and keep on accelerating. When you reach to 50, 60 kilometer and the car engine starts making noise and tells you that change the gear to fourth gear, again, start going down on the clutch and coming up on the exa pedal, completely off the exa pedal, completely clutch down and change the gear to fourth gear. And then start slowly, slowly going down on the exa pedal and slowly, slowly coming up on the clutch pedal and fully off the clutch and fully on the exa pedal. And if you want to go on top gear, same way again, you can go down and up. Once you learn this, how to change gear. So again, in fourth gear, or I mean top gear, if you want to go, then you were, uh, you will be like that when you are in fourth gear. Now you think, okay, now I have picked up my speed to over 60 and so I'm coming to 70. Then you start coming off the exa pedal and start going down on the clutch, fully clutching, fully exa pedal off and on top gear, then start going other way around. Start on accelerating and coming off the clutch completely. So this is, this is how you change your clutch and exa pedal while changing gears. I mean, this is how you do it. You one off, one on, one on, one off. This is how you do it. And suppose you, uh, if you are doing reverse parking. So when you come close and parallel to the park car, you will come to stop. So when you come to stop clutching, break in fully in. Then. When you start reversing after checking around, of course you have to change your gear to reverse by putting the clutch fully in, change your gear. Then you check around, then look back through the back window, passenger window, that's your observation point. Then slowly, slowly, slowly come up on the clutch and come to the friction point, hold it there, then ease off your brake and keep on rolling. You do not have to let go the brake pedal fully on ease of your brake pedal. So what happens is you are on the still on the brake pedal, but pushing less. So the car starts rolling and you your foot is on the clutch pedal, but at friction point, okay? It has come from there to there and you are at friction point. Then you take the foot ease of your brake pedal. And then when you start easing of your brake pedal, you will see car starts rolling. So at this point, you have to be there. Your left foot has to be at friction point and right foot ease of your brake pedal. And that's how you will start rolling back. And then again, when you want to stop, both the foot down on the clutch pedal and brake pedal. Again, you want to roll in reverse, bring the foot to friction point on the clutch pedal and then ease of your brake and your car will start rolling back again. Then once you go in properly, then when you want to stop, both the clutch and brake in. Then you change your gear to drive and you want to roll forward. Again, bring the clutch to friction point, then ease of your brake pedal. If you want, um, if your car is not rolling, then only go on the exa pedal by making sure you leave your left hand or a uh, left foot on the clutch at friction point. And then if you take your foot off the brake, you will not stall or you will not roll back because your foot is left foot is on the clutch at friction point. Then you take your foot off the brake, go on the exa pedal and start slowly accelerating more, more, more to roll forward. But in reverse parking, you won't need to accelerate. If you bring your clutch to friction point, and ease of your brake. And if you're in first gear, then you will slowly roll forward. So your speed will be under your control because you won't be too far from the car in front. So you cannot accelerate. So just ease of your brake. And if your car is rolling forward, don't even go on the exa pedal. If it is uphill and the car is not rolling forward, then only after bringing your left foot on the clutch pedal at friction point, then if even if you have let go the whole brake pedal but you are not rolling forward because you are slightly uphill you have to roll forward then slight acceleration and keep on rolling forward but leave your foot on the 
clutch at friction point and when you want to stop clutching and then braking that's how you use your exa pedal and brake pedal and clutch pedal so if you still have got any confusion please let me know any kind of questions and i will explain to you and i will try my best to put a video on it thank you that is called how to pump up the pedals in manual car this is how you change your uh, gears while using clutch brake and exa pedal so this is how slowly you have to do it clutch in exa pedal off exa pedal in clutch off slowly slowly you can't do suddenly if you let go the clutch your car will stall so you have gradually gradually come up on the clutch pedal so i hope you have understood well uh, still you have any questions please let me know and i will explain to you please like my videos and share them and subscribe to my channel thank you so my suggestion is uh, if you are trying to do it on your own in your own car uh, make someone to sit beside you who, who has got unrestricted license and then what you do uh, start your engine make sure either Mm, uh, by pushing the clutch bring the gear to neutral and then clutch off and then uh, brake in and start your car or you can start your car in first gear also so if you are in first gear and you want to start the car clutch in and brake in and start the car then slowly slowly bring your left foot to the clutch uh, to the friction point on the clutch then slowly let go the brake pedal and if your car is rolling slowly slowly forward we we'll leave it like that and then again come to stop by pushing the clutch in then brake in fully so that's how you try to practice if you want to practice in your driveway or on your quiet street then if you want to reverse back what you do you start your car in first gear by putting the clutch in and brake in start your engine then change your gear to reverse then slowly bring your left foot off the clutch slowly 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 up until you get to the friction point hold your uh, left foot on that clutch at that friction point then let go slowly slowly your brake pedal if you are rolling back slowly slowly keep on rolling slowly slowly and then when you want to stop clutch in and brake in together so then you will not stall so this is how you keep on practicing on your driveway or on the quiet street you roll few meters forward and then stop then few meters backward and then stop again few meters forward in first gear then stop and then few meters backward and stop but remember when you are stopping at the first clutching fully in then brake in fully then you stop see so, so and also at the same time you are learning not to ride on the clutch for too long if you are driving 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 and you want to come to stop suddenly you can stop in any gear either in you are in first gear or second gear or third gear if or fourth gear if you are going at 60 km per hour you are in fourth gear and suddenly something comes out in your way and you want to stop and avoid that accident you clutch in and brake in fully in and stop in fourth gear that's all right and then you can change your gear to um bring it to neutral and then first gear because you have stopped completely and then after you put it in first gear again bring your clutch to friction point then ease of your brake and go on the exa pedal leave your left foot on the clutch on the friction point and start pressing the exa pedal down and start rolling forward after 4 5 meters when you think okay i have completely started rolling now there is no way if i let go the clutch slowly slowly you have to bring your foot slowly slowly up on the clutch and if i let it go slowly slowly up uh, my left foot off the clutch it will not stall then start slowly coming up the clutch and start going on the exa pedal down 
So that's how you've got to do it. So remember, you can stop in any gear, any time. You don't need to go in first gear to stop. So this is, and then once you stop in any gear, even third gear, if you have stopped because of some reason, then clutch in, brake in, change the gear to neutral, and then first gear, and then start off the same way. So this is what I would like you to practice, practice, practice until you get better at it. But I would say, if you want to learn manual car, first you learn automatic car. And then once you learn automatic car fully, everything you know, how to drive automatic car, you need know how to go through roundabouts, um, reverse parking, three-point turn, lane changing, everything, traffic lights in automatic car, then learn to change your gear in manual. Then it becomes very easy. Otherwise, learning from the beginning in a manual car, uh, changing gears and um, how to use the clutch and extra pedal and brake pedal and everything and looking around and who do I give away and things like that, it's very complicated. So it takes longer time unless somebody is very good at it. There are some exceptions. But if you are scared, you don't, you cannot pay attention to everything, the traffic around you and changing gears and clutch and brake pedal and extra pedal, then learn automatic car first. Then once you know how to drive automatic car, you are good at it, very confident. Then you need one or two lessons to learn to change your gears and how to use your clutch and brake. That's it. It's very easy that way. Okay. Thank you. I hope it helps you. Thank you very much. Please ask me questions if you have any questions. Thank you. Okay. Now, this is actually an automatic car. So, I have brake pedal and accelerator pedal. So, you have to imagine there is a clutch pedal here too, like accelerator pedal because brake pedal is of a rectangular shape. Accelerator pedals and clutch pedal has the same shape. So when you come, uh, when you want to stop, you will put the clutch in and brake in. Now, when you want to start off, you'll bring the clutch slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh, your clutch is in and your brake is in because you are stopped. When you want to start rolling, you will slowly, slowly come up the clutch. You, you will bring your foot up. You will start easing of your clutch. And you come to a certain point where the two clutch, clutch plate get together. When they get together, you will get some vibration under your foot, left foot, which is on the clutch. So you have to hold the clutch at that point, position. And then, and you will be in first gear at that time when you start off. So then you, when you are at, fric, that is called friction point. When you get certain kind of vibration under your foot, when the two pla clutch plates get together, at that point is called friction point. And that's where you bring your, um, leave your foot on the clutch and stay there. Do not let it go high up the clutch, uh, clutch uh, pedal, otherwise you will stall. And if you go down on it, then your car, when you take your foot off the brake, your car, if you take your foot off the brake to go on the extra pedal, your car will go back, roll back. So when you are at friction point on the clutch plate, you hold there the clutch, do not give any more pressure or less pressure on the clutch once you get to your friction point that's it that's where you hold your clutch plate then you take your foot off the brake and go on the extra pedal then slide accelerate and when your car starts rolling you are still holding the your uh, clutch there and there and you will see when you start accelerating your car will start rolling forward when it goes a couple of meters forward then slowly 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 come off the clutch you cannot um ride on clutch but it the car has to pick up the speed a little bit then only you come off the clutch and then you keep on accelerating more and then when you want to change your gear again clutch in foot off the extra pedal change the gear then start slowly 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 
coming up the clutch and putting the foot on the exa pedal and pushing the exa pedal again you want to change the gear then you start coming off the exa pedal and start putting the clutch in together so you are using clutch and exa pedal clutch and exa pedal so when you are you want to change the gear you start coming off the exa pedal at the same time you start going on the clutch and push it in change push the clutch fully in then change the gear then start slowly accelerating and start slowly coming off the clutch pedal so that's how you change your gear now whenever you want to reverse back so at that time when suppose you are doing reverse parking so you came parallel to the parked car you came parallel to the parked car um, and stop near the parked car then when you stop your foot will be on the brake pedal you will pushing the brake fully in and pushing the clutch fully in i hope you can see my foot left foot because you are using the left foot on the clutch and right foot on either brake pedal or exa pedal so when you will be putting pushing both the pedals in and then you will stop then you will change the gear to reverse then you will check around as i in my as i have told you in my reverse parking video and then when you want to reverse back you will bring first the clutch foot slowly slowly up until you feel there is a that two uh, clutch plate have got together and you feel that vibration under your foot you will leave your foot on the clutch plate on the clutch at that point and then you will slowly ease of your brake as much you need to as much fast you want to reverse back that much you will release your brake pedal and then slowly slowly keep on going do not uh, uh, let go the uh, clutch otherwise you will stall but you hold the clutch at that friction point at that friction point and let the an ease of your brake little bit slowly slowly as much fast you want to go and then do your reverse parking and when you want to stop again clutch in and brake in when you want to move bring the uh, foot uh, of the clutch plate slowly slowly up do not let go fully otherwise you will stall so slowly 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 up hold it there then ease of your brake slowly 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 and let the car roll as much fast you want to go and then when you want to stop clutching braking and that's how you stop so that's how you do you do not accelerate at that time if it is uphill uh, reverse parking and you have to accelerate then what you do once you have stopped you bring the uh, left foot on the clutch pedal slightly up come up to the friction point then take the foot off the brake go on the exa pedal and at this friction point you are leaving your left foot and slide slide accelerate so you are slowly rolling back you do not have to roll too fast in reverse parking anyway because there is not room behind you that you go fast so slide slide acceleration so you will be leaving your foot uh, on the clutch at your friction point um, as you are reversing back and when the time comes to stop you push the uh, clutch in and then brake in always clutch in first then brake in last moment but you are so mostly you are leaving your foot on the clutch at friction point and you are either easing of your brake to reverse back or if it is uphill then come once you bring your foot on the uh, on the clutch uh, at the friction point then take your foot off the brake and go on the exa pedal and slide slide accelerate by holding the clutch to the friction point with your left foot and slowly slowly start accelerating so that's how you use your clutch and brake and accelerator pedal while doing reverse parking or driving i hope i have helped you enough to understand thank you